Hi, just a totally random video. There's this gigantic metal bar in my front yard. It's about 5.7 meters long by about 190 millimeters wide and 190 millimeters high like this. It's all welded in the middle like that. And this is, weighs about 130, 150 kilos or something. Um, it's about eight millimeters thick or thereabouts. And this is supposed to be a gigantic steel support for uh, the, our uh, garage roller door. We're uh, taking out the center pillar and we're actually replacing it with, you know, just one big gigantic wide roller door. That's like five meters wide or whatever. So I was just wondering, any mechanical engineers out there can uh, tell us it is uh, flat on the other side like this. So, um, but why it's got the uh, these uh, ridges on there? Does that add to the strength while taking away some weight? I would presume. But um, like, doesn't can anyone? Because it'd be like um, held at the ends, right? It'd be into uh, the brick pillars at either end, and then. Can anyone tell me, um, any mechanical engineers out there, you know, calculate the stress and the strain on this uh, bad boy and uh, tell us how she's going to hold up. But anyway, um, yeah, so this one's flat. I was going to say that this piece is the same as this piece. That's why they used it and just welded it on. But this one's actually flat on the bottom, whereas um, this one has the, uh, the um, grooves both sides like that. So... That's rather interesting, and it doesn't. Oh, yeah, it's no. These ones are they the same depth? Yeah, I think I think they are. I think they're the same depth. But anyway, um, can anyone tell me why you would need those ridges on this vertical one, or the and or the horizontal? I don't know. Is it actually needed? Is just a weight saving measure? You know, oh yeah, you get the same strength because, you know, yeah, when you take out the ridges, it's the same um, strength, but you lose um, some of the weight or something like that. Anyway, if anyone's got any idea, leave it in the comments down below. But yeah, I think I'll do my workout now. Oh yeah, I'll just go <laughs> do uh, a handful of reps on this baby and uh, lift it up. But yeah. Leave it in the comments. I, I, I reckon you don't need it in this center one like this. In fact, I could argue that why would you have the same thickness on that center piece? I can understand, yeah, of course, that uh, that gives you the longitudinal rigidity. Although I've completely butchered that. I don't know my mechanical engineering terms or, or whatever. You know, the, um, the uh, support in the middle, I can understand that. Um, why does it need to be that deep? Anyone? Bueller, Bueller, and uh, why does it need to be ridged? I got no idea. Anyway, leave your thoughts in the comments down below. Catch you next time.